Hey guys, Shargirl here. Welcome back to The Coily Code. So let's just address the elephant in the room. As I was recording this video, I thought my mic was working. And girl, let me tell you, as I pulled this footage in to edit, I realized there was no audio. So go figures, it's okay. At the end, you'll be able to hear me do a live you know, talk about this. But anyway, this is my hair over after stretching my hair with Bantu knots overnight because if you haven't seen my failed wash and go using the Miche Bounce Curl Defining Cream only, it was a complete disaster. So as a result, rather than let my hair, you know, air dry like that overnight. I put them in Bantu knots in four sections and as you can see, I unraveled them and I am left with crusty, dry, brittle hair. It actually almost makes me question whether or not this cream would work for a twist out, a braid out, or a flexi raw set as indicated on the, the jar instructions. So I don't know, I can't say for sure until I've tried it using the product those ways, but I will say it, I will never, ever, 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 ever use it for a wash and go. In fact, I will never use creams as my only product to do a wash and go. Now, aside from that, I like I said, I think the other products were just fine for Mish, but this was not it for me. I've never had my hair feel this way and I did suffer a lot of breakage from trying to detangle it very softly and gently and even as gentle as I was being, I still suffered from breakage. So I will say that I'm just really disappointed and there is something a valuable lesson learned here about experimenting because yes, I have goals of growing my hair long. but if the experiments I do in between reaching that goal somehow hinder me from reaching that goal, then I need to reconsider. So I'm almost at the stage where I don't really care to experiment anymore with my hair. I found what products work for my wash and go with my textured hair and I need to stick with that. So I don't know, I'll see. But today I'll be using the Curl Maker I'll be using the curl maker from Camille Rose and I'm not going to show all of the footage and everything from that. I, I didn't record footage for that, but I will share with you guys how I feel about that product when we're done. I want to tell you that my hair and I are breathing a sigh of relief. God is so good and my coils are happy to be back. We will never do a cream wash and go that was a nightmare and I did suffer a lot of breakage from trying to obviously bring my hair back into equilibrium so I tried the Camille Rose curl maker and I'm keeping it it's definitely a great pair with the wet line I love it I I'm interested to see how it'll double up with the curling custard from kinky curly but I had no problems with this my hair accepted it right away it did start to define and clump my curls but in terms of definition clumping was there but the definition is what was lacking and which is what my wet line made up for and like I said it combines very well with it, there's no flaking. I used my Key Curly Not Today leave-in. I'm starting to think that it's better for me to use a water-based leave-in versus a cream leave-in if I'm going to be doing wash and goes like I am. However, when I get into protective styling, I will use more of that cream base because it's heavier and the creams tend to flake on my hair. It's just seems like every time I try to use the cream with my gels and custards, it always flakes. So I love the consistency of it. It says to use a generous amount and when I say I was very generous with this product, I've already used a bit of it and that is mainly due to my paranoia and my hair not being like moisturized like it normally is. My hair is starting to hang a lot more when I finish my wash and goes and I think it's because it's getting used to being wet all the time correction it's used to being moisturized all the time and I don't know maybe there's something to that I don't know if there's any science to back that up but my hair is hanging a lot more this is me straight out 
the shower, I obviously will have to go sit under a hooded dryer because I don't believe in air drying unless I really have to, it's an emergency or you know, I just can't get to the hooded dryer. But I'm gonna sit under that for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna diffuse. But I'm gonna let it air dry a bit because I just wanna calm, like just chill for a while before you know, because I have to sit under for 30 minutes. So I, can, I could read a book. Anyway, these are my thoughts, my stream of conscience. Let me get off. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. And as a warning to all of my kinky, textured, highly tightly coiled hair, if you use a type system, type 4 hair, 4B, 4C, maybe 4A, don't use a cream for a wash and go.